Good afternoon, uh, Shane here. Here we are with day four of the series, I Need to Change, video devotional, uh, going along with the series we just started at church. And we're going to kick off today in the book of Ephesians. Paul is writing here, uh, starting in uh, chapter 3, verse 20 into 21. So uh, if you would, let's uh, check it out. It says, Now glory be to God, by his mighty power at work within us, he is able to accomplish infinitely more than we would ever even dare to ask or hope for. And in verse 21, it says, May he be given glory uh, in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever through endless ages. Amen. Think about this. As you were a kid or a child, I can think about my own life. Uh, as you were growing up, how much did you ask for? Think about all the things that you asked for. Think about all the things you hoped for. I mean, I think all the endless number of BB guns I asked for and go-karts and four-wheelers and all the things that I wanted. And then the things I never even asked for that I wanted up here, but I never asked for because I didn't think I'd ever get them. It says that God wants to do even more than we would ask for, wants to do more in us than we can even think of. Pretty humbling thought when you really think about it. So in us, we all have something that we want to change. It says God would give us even more than we would ask for. And we all have something in us that we want to change. There's this imperfection that we're all painfully aware of. There's that struggle that we've thought of thousands of times. I mean, what is it for you? You know, like maybe the, the spare tire around the middle, that, that's one of my things. Maybe, uh, maybe it's where you live. Maybe it's your job. You're just tired of the job and you want change. Uh, there's that struggle that keeps rising up that we, we just can't quit thinking of. And we're all aware of our need to change. We know that it's there, but uh, we just can't do anything about it. So think about it for just a second. What in your life would you like to change? Now I ask you this. What would you be like if it actually changed? Would you experience that one thing that you've always longed for? Would you be able to finally accomplish what you've dreamt about? Would you find relief from the, de the, the, the painful decisions of your past? The thoughts of what life could be like are tantalizing. Admitting you can't change is the first step toward making that lasting change. Because it's then and only then that we turn to God and ask Him to change us. Strange thought, crazy thought, isn't it? And when we turn to God, we can finally get beyond our futile attempts to change and find the power that He places within us to change. You know, God is great, God is powerful, and God has this ability to change us. Why not tap into it? And the results then could be amazing. And the change that you were seeking might just surpass all that you thought it could be. Because back up here in verse 20, it says that God wants to do in us more than we would ever even dare to ask. And there's that one little thing that we think about, that we focus in on, that we hone in on for this, this change. It says that God wants to do even more than that. God's not just looking at this one little thing. He's looking at the whole picture. So if we can get past looking at that one little thing in our life and tap into what God wants, if we would find our desires to be His desires, it's a humbling thought. So chew on that for today. Uh, I'll be back here tomorrow with one more thought. And then uh, Sunday, 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 church is coming. Hope to see you there. God bless.